on used cars because the depreciation number is so much smaller on a used car. I mean, it's killer on used. Absolute killer. I want you to learn this one because I want you to be able to teach this to your salespeople. I mean, the, there's two mathematical, there's two mathematical equations. Divide this by the term, subtract that from the payment. That's all the math there is to it. It's, it's also killer for F&I because if I go into an F&I office, Carl, do I not want a warranty? I mean, if, if someone says, look, we're going to cover your car for five years, 100,000 miles, what, what am I going to say? No. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to pay for tire and wheel, but if someone's going to replace my tires, if they blow out or fix my wheel, I'm in. I don't want gap. I don't want to pay for gap, but guess what? If my car gets totaled, yeah, I'd like someone to pay the uh, defi deficiency balance off. Um, I don't want to pay for a security system or etch or paint or all the other stuff we sell, but if you're going to give it to me, I'm in. So basically, there's nothing but a payment objection in the F&I office. Well, you can take this and show them the payment. And by the way, does that include all the interest? Yeah, sure. Taxes, fees, yep. includes everything. It's always going to be, it's, nobody is paying that for the car. They forget that there is going to be a value at the end. When they say, well, I only keep my cars for 36 months, well, that begs the question, why aren't you leasing it, <laughs> you know? And if they say that, I'll go, okay, what do you think this $35,000 car will be worth in three years? <laughs> then I just do it that way. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling to watch the customer's response. Um, I've got, this, this has been watched on YouTube. Uh, you know, I've got probably 30 different versions of, of it up. It's been watched over 40,000 times. Do you know how many, the, the number one response, once they get by trashing me as a human being, the number one response is, uh, when can I get this comp? When can I start taking money out of my title? Questions. Every single week, when can we get, take money out of our title? I always write them back. When you finish paying for your car. And if you've got a customer who is uh, clued in on stocks, okay? Do you own any stock? Very little. Very little. Okay, well, I own very little, but I know what a share of stock is. You can say, hey, this title acts just like a share of stock. Can you trade it? Can you sell it? Can you borrow against it? And I always say, and I'm not talking about a title pawn loan. You can take it to Bank of America and say, hey, I own this $14,000 vehicle. They'll verify that it's worth 14 according to them. Then they'll loan you 80%, just like they would on a share of IBM stock.